There aren't as many games that connect with me as deeply as Horizon Zero Dawn. With its incredibly deep lore, richly detailed environments, and near endless amount of side content, this game is my idea of a masterpiece. Developed by Guerrilla Games, who are best known for the Venerable Killzone series, I was excited to see what their next project would be, since I feel like the series has gotten a bit stale at this point. Horizon is set roughly a thousand years in the future around the western United States. After an event that nearly caused mass extinction, a scientific program called Zero Dawn was developed to breathe new life into the world by recreating several species of animals and humans of all ethnicities. Also created were many robotic machines that dominate the Earth and are mostly hostile due to their programming. As modern society crumbled, humanity devolved into a tribal-like state and their predecessors are referred to as the Old Ones while their technology is respected and often worshipped. The story follows Aloy, a young woman voiced phenomenally well by Ashley Birch. She grew up as an outcast shunned by her tribe, the Nora, due to the mysterious circumstances behind her birth. With no parents, Aloy is raised by another outcast named Rost, who trained her to compete in an upcoming competition held by the tribe that will earn her place among them and ultimately learn what happened to her mother. On the day of the event, the tribe is attacked by cultists and Rost is killed while trying to defend Aloy. As she recovers from her wounds, Aloy is brought to the Sacred Mountain, where she is informed that she was found within the mountain as an infant in front of a massive sealed door that the Matriarch refers to as the All-Mother. When the door refuses to open due to a system corruption, the Matriarch anoints Aloy as a seeker and sends her into the wilderness to find the answer she seeks. Along the way, she encounters a man named Erend from another tribe called Osaram, who is also mourning the loss of a family member, and the two form a partnership. Not long after, it is revealed that the cultists who attack the Nora are led by a man named Helis, who runs a division of the third major tribe, the Karja, and are loyal to the ways of the violent former king, while plotting to resurrect an AI to take over the land. Aloy is then contacted by a mysterious man named Silence, voiced by Lance Reddick, who leads her to many ancient ruins that the Old Ones left behind, which is where the world really starts developing. The story writing is absolutely brilliant, and it really drew me in the entire time with its nuance and structure. There is a lot that I won't go into due to spoilers, but that is just the beginning of this amazing experience. I'll say right now that this is easily one of the most beautiful worlds I've had the pleasure of exploring. From the lush forests, to the snowy mountains, to the rocky deserts, everything is elaborately detailed and gorgeous. The world looks absolutely amazing during every time of day, and I would often take the time to just stop and appreciate the sheer beauty of the environment. In addition to the main story, the world is filled with a wide variety of collectibles, hunt challenges, bandit camps to raid, and a huge list of side quests and errands to perform for various people. I also have to talk about the combat, which is very fluid and fast-paced. As you fight the machines, your main weapon is the bow, which controls really well and is fun to use. There are even a few different types of bows that offer different types of craftable arrows that have various effects. In addition to that, you can also set traps that deal elemental damage, or fire rope darts at enemies that fix into the ground to limit their movement. There are over 20 different types of machines that are completely unique from one another, and half of the fun is learning their attack patterns and discovering the best ways to defeat them. Some of them are weak to fire, some need to be stuck with rope darts in order to target them easier, and best of all, some have mounted weapons that you can break off, and having done so, you can pick them up and shoot at enemies. By using Aloy's focus, you can scan an enemy for weak points on its body, such as fuel canisters, which will sometimes break off and provide a helpful resource. You can even hack down to machines so that they become docile and fight for you. A few of these machines can even be ridden like a horse across the map, which is sort of useful. There is a fast-paced crafting system where you can build arrows and other sorts of ammunition on the fly from the resources that you collect from enemies and plants in the world. Even regaining health is fast, as Aloy can collect medicinal plants and consume them quickly to regenerate health. With such elaborate gameplay, there are even secrets that the game outright doesn't tell you, such as the special fast travel pack that lets you travel around without limitation. Things like that are very rewarding when I discovered them, so I wasn't frustrated by the game withholding information from me. Speaking of fast travel, while it is tempting to simply skip to your destination, it is often more rewarding to walk and collect wood for arrows and medicinal plants along the way. 
That's part of what makes this game so intriguing. There is so much to discover, and I would often find myself getting involved in an epic side quest that I simply stumbled upon. The conflicts among the tribes are all interesting, as they all have unique cultures, customs, and technology making the world feel lived in. Even the lore behind the old ones is very rich and worth exploring. I'm not even kidding, there's an insane amount of audio logs and additional material to collect that paint a much bigger picture of the events that led up to the destruction of the world. There's also a skill tree, and in true RPG fashion, you can invest skill points to gain helpful perks. I actually found all the perks to be useful and rewarding, which is always a good thing. You have the Prowler tree, which helps with stealth, the Brave tree, which is beneficial to combat, with perks such as being able to fire two or three arrows at a time, and the Forager tree, which allows you to use resources more efficiently and loot additional materials. Finally, I should mention the Frozen Wilds DLC, which adds a completely new area of the map filled with new enemies, a rich story following a previously unseen tribe, and a new set of weapons that work as cannons that deal elemental damage. It also raises the level cap and adds a brand new skill tree, Traveler, which adds a new set of helpful skills. With all of that said, I can say that Horizon Zero Dawn is one of the greatest games I've ever played. I've put hundreds of hours into it, and I know that I will definitely come back to experience it again. The landscapes are stunning, the machines are all creative and awesome, the lore is very well built, and the characters are fun and likable. Aloy herself is a fun character with a witty attitude and fun personality. I dislike using the term strong female character, but I really appreciate how Aloy is written to be powerful but vulnerable determined but willing to stop and help others. She's attractive but not sexualized. Guerrilla Games did an outstanding job at bringing this world to life, and I am strongly looking forward to what they introduce in Horizon Forbidden West. I've gushed about it enough, set aside some time in your schedule and give it a try.